we are both extremely happy here in Clue Finish and uh, we would never consider moving elsewhere. We've met some wonderful people and we really do feel at home and we no longer feel like blow-ins. <laughs> I met Father McCarrick at the door and he said to me, I thought you would be the first one to listen to those sisters. So anyway, I turned back. I was afraid not to. So I turned back and I uh, sat down and I listened to them and I, I liked what they said and I thought, that's where I'm going to go. So I came home and my father, it was a Sunday, it must have been bad weather, he was making hay. And I went down to the field to him and I told him that I was going to go to Australia. And he said, Margaret, he said, do you know where it is? I said, no. Oh, he said, we'll have to talk about it, he said. It was a big change. I didn't think it ever happened moving back to the parish. But what's lovely about it is the fact that back where I'm from um, and my neighbours are all people I know obviously well and my very next door neighbour, I was in baby infants in class, so it's grown up. So uh, it's full circle, but it's, it's lovely, it's great. And uh, we're proud of that. And serving Mass, we had no shoe at all. And then the priest got us a pair of runners each. And that was all right, they were left in the church. And that was about it, there was no tractors in the place. There was a horse and a cart, and if you were fairly big, you had a horse and cart. And then, if you weren't that, if your farm wasn't that big, you had a nursing cart, a donkey. So that's about it. This is uh, a replica of the, of the Channel Tunnel. Uh, there's two running tunnels and the service tunnel in the centre. Uh, the, uh, there's a flyover and a crossover and a crossover in the, uh, about five kilometres out where the interchange. And uh, the, the diameter of the uh, of the running tunnel is, is approximately eight metres and uh, the service tunnel five metres. So uh, uh, this uh, replica of, uh, of, the, of the tunnel, there was uh, 200 of them made for the foreman and, and, and staff that worked on the, on the project and I happened to be lucky enough to get one of them. people, the friendliness and um, how, how helpful people are. And I think that's what's made farming easier for me is because there's always people willing to help and guide. And it has been um, enjoyable because um, of the people I've met through living in Glasgow and farming. <laughs>